It's not always easy. People think of different things when they hear the term medical devices. Some think of adhesive plasters or scalpels. And for others, a medical device is a magnetic resonance imaging system. But who is right? They all are. In simplified terms, a medical device is anything that can be used for medical purposes but is not a medicine. Medical devices are intended for use in and on humans. Some products, such as thermometers, detect illnesses. Others, for example adhesive plasters, are used to treat injuries or to monitor people's health, such as an electrocardiograph. Medical devices can also modify our anatomical structure or replace parts of it, as is the case with an artificial hip joint. A CT scan can provide images of the inside of the body, while hearing aids can help to overcome impairments. Contraceptive products are also medical devices. Take, for example, a condom. Medical devices are divided into four risk classes. 1, 2A, 2B and 3. The risk class is determined using factors, such as the length of time for which the product is used and its anatomical location and whether it is used inside or outside the body. Artificial hip joints are used inside the body and stay in the body for a long time, so they are assigned the highest risk class. In descending order of risk class, hip joints are followed by CT scans, dental fillings and reading glasses, for example. IVD, in vitro diagnostics, make up a separate group of medical devices. They are used to investigate samples obtained from the human body. IVD are also classified into four risk classes. Examples of in vitro diagnostics include tests for trisomy, HIV or blood glucose. Medical devices can be identified by the CE mark. But caution, other products such as toys or elevators can also bear this certification mark.